Hi everyone, uh, this tutorial is going to be just a quick reference on the different types of monitors that at the beginning of the class we were talking about. Uh, obviously in, at the college we work with Haas machines which they have their own control and I mentioned to you guys that Fanuc, uh, this company right here, some people call it Fanuc, some people call it Fanuc, uh, they make this type of monitors and if you guys can see uh, this is an older model, you know, it doesn't have any fancy graphics, it just has a regular DOS base type of uh, monitor, uh, but it's just as functional as the one with the fancy graphics. Uh, you can still, you know, read your code just fine, and, uh, and it works just as well as a regular, uh, as a has monitor. But the point of this video is to show you, like I was telling you guys how you know, it's kind of like driving a car, an older car, a newer car. You know, they're still going to have a radio. Uh, it's just to turn the radio on, the button's going to look different and maybe in a different place. Well, that's the same thing on this, on this machine. For example, uh, like I was telling you guys, your memory button on an older or on certain Fanuc uh, controls, there's no such thing as a memory button. They call it an auto button. So right there, when I press auto, that's the same thing as if I will be pressing memory on a Haas machine. Edit will always be edit, you know, on just about every single monitor, uh, any manufacturer. Uh, you have our, our jog uh, handle, and that way we can, uh, and then these are our increments. You know, you have a hundred thousands, ten thousands, and one thousands. So if I press jog and a hundred thousand step, then I can select whether I want to go on the Z axis or the X axis. So I'm going to press the Z axis and here's the handle for this machine and now I can move that turret back and forward on the Z axis. If I tell it that I want to go on the X axis then I select the X axis and now when I move my handle now it allow me to move that turret on the X axis. So opposed to like the Haas machine right here you know that the memory is here and the handle is here and your increments are there um, the Fanuc has the same exact buttons they're just placed in a different area and maybe they could be called different uh, to index this machine we know that we do MDI turret forward and now we can index you know that machine on a Fanuc control, on this particular one, if I want to do that, I want to go to the, my jog button, and then right here it tells me turret index. So when I press it, the turret is going to index to the next position. And I press it one more time, and it index to the next position. So same thing, it's just called different. Uh, <coughs> if I want to go in reverse, then I press the turret handle, I mean I press F, F2 and turret handle and then I go reverse. Uh, if I want to rapid traverse uh, my turret, I go into the jog and then I have my axis right here so I can wrap it forward. I can wrap it down on the X axis, wrap it up, wrap it back. Same thing as you would do on the Haas. You go to the hand jog, and I can do wrap it back on the Z, wrap it down on the X. So, same thing, just different positions of the buttons. Uh, we have our stop block to lead, we have our single block, uh, we have our option stop. And we have our MDI. If I want to warm up the spindle on this machine, the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and, and do an end of block. Uh, S1000, MO3, end of block, insert. And when I tell the cycle start, the spindle is going to start. So you see how the code is universal? It'll, it'll still work on an older machine that is made by a completely different manufacturer. For instance, on this side, we have a Harding machine. It also has a Fanuc control. And 
you have the same type of buttons. You just need to find where the buttons are. Here's an auto button right here. Here's our MDI button. So then we want to start the spindle on that. Here's our edit button. Uh, here's our handle button. On the handle button, you actually, uh, you don't press the handle button. You just select the axis and then it will allow you to move the machine either on the Z axis or on the X axis. If you want to wrap it uh, on either of the axes, you just press these two on the X or on the Z. Here's your single, sing single block button. Turn the coolant on, turn the coolant off. Um, you know, open and close the, the chop. Uh, on some machines, the open and closing is going to be right here, it's going to be a button. On the Haas machines, is the pedal what opens and closes the chop. Um, so, you know, we have our maintenance stop, control on, controls off. We still have uh, our program, current commands. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you that even though they're different manufacturers, different controls, the buttons look a little different. Uh, they may be in a different position, name a little bit different, but they do the same exact thing. Thanks for watching.